And again, no flap. She's nice and steady. And look at that. Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and alongside me today is pilot Lewis Sharp. He is a member of the CCRC. You guys might see him. He goes in our, he's in our live chat a lot. We always see him out here at the field. And over the last month or so, two months, you've built up quite the arsenal of necks of balsa planes. Yeah, I've put together two or three of them. Two the or three of them, months. a few from mm -hmm. the past, a few that we've got. And uh, right now he has the L4 Grasshopper, which I saw on the site look beautiful. So I asked Lewis if he would allow us to film him flying this one today. And uh, he said yeah. yes. So quickly, before, um, before you go up, just talk about what batteries you're using in there, maybe motor, okay. things like that. So I'm using most of the recommended stuff yep. uh, from the Motion site. I've got the high-tech uh, servos, HS82s in the wings, and I've got some standard size servos for elevator and okay. rudder. Yep. Um, I got a, um, I'm using a Supo motor, a little bit smaller motor actually than what's recommended. That's what I had. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm using 4S 3300 milliamp hour batteries. Okay. And, uh, and a 60 amp ESC. Nice. All right. And I saw you flying a couple times. You're getting like eight to 10 minutes on, oh, yeah. Yeah. on flights for days. I mean, it's a cub. That's what should happen. Yeah. But uh, wood prop on the front. Got a 12 by six uh, master air screw prop on the front. Gotcha. Uh, I tried a couple different propellers and decided to use this one because it worked the best. Okay. And um, everything went together really well. Uh, really happy with the way everything fit. Uh, the finish on the model is fantastic. Yeah, it looks, it looks really pretty. Yeah. And like the evasion stripes, that's all mm -hmm. there. I mean, you yeah. could expect. Um, like you said, it's it's more Warbirdy than yeah, you know the L4 you rather know the, than just your standard Piper. Exactly. Cup. The thing is, I've I've never been a huge Cub fan. Yeah. But this just really caught my eye because it's it's not just a Cub; it's a Warbird. Yeah. And uh, I don't I think people really in Chicago are huge Cubs fans either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no, I really I really enjoy flying. It's a good flying plane. Beautiful. So I say take it off, then we'll land and talk and show her off a little bit. So okay. Lewis, whenever you're ready, sir. All right. So here we go. I'm going to taxi it out. And with this plane, I really enjoy taking off in the grass. It's got those large four-inch tires on it. Yeah. And it just looks really good on the grass takeoffs. It does. And then, with those invasion stripes, I bet it's mm -hmm. going to look nice when it's playing low within the trees and such. Yeah, it does. It's got real good ground handling characteristics. Yeah, it didn't look like any potential for nose over or anything on the grass. Mm -hmm. And our grass isn't perfect. I mean, it's cut really well. It's getting better, but like... You know yeah absolutely our grass isn't made for a runway it's just to look pretty on the sides of the of the pavement yeah it's not a <laughs> golf course out here or anything like that the nice thing about this particular library on this plane is it's real easy to see the orientation those invasion stripes really make it stand out yeah like right now the sun is just behind clouds so it's silhouetting things mm -hmm. and you could still see the white and the black when you need to yeah absolutely but also, it doesn't, it's so docile. I mean, what are you, 25% throttle right now? Do you even have uh, throttle? A little bit less than half. A little less than half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it'll fly real slow and graceful. But with this power system I have, you can, you can burn up the sky with it if you want. But, you know, that's, I like to fly scale. Why would you, yeah, why would you do that with a Cub? Yeah. This looks like a great FPV platform. It you could, could be. There's a lot of windows, you know, in the front, which is nice. Now, this is obviously five channel. So it aileron is four. elevator. No, it's just four, four channel. Throttle, mm -hmm. aileron. Yep. yep. So no flaps on her. No flaps. No flaps. Gotcha. No flaps. Yeah. No flaps on it. Yeah, nice low pass. Bring her on down. Just watch out for I think that was Jerry. Crash his little pits there. Oh beautiful. And she looks so nice. I love the blue cowl too. Touch and go. Yeah. Right to left. And uh, this particular one has the mistress. Uh, Okay. The mistress, the mistress decal. Mistress decal on it. Yeah. And it is modeled after a full scale. There's a full scale mistress L4 grasshopper out there. Wow. Mm. It's always a nice added bonus. Yeah. It's nice to have you know the model of the plane looks pretty much just like the full scale. What do you want? Can you, like, can we just? Oh, he's going on the field, so we'll we'll stay high for this one. But she roll and oh, how's yeah. the roll rate and such? So. It does roll. It's not so bad. Okay. Pretty scale. Yeah, that's pretty scale. And you can do loops with it too. I bet a stall turn would look nice with this yeah, one. Yeah, we can do that. And we can do a little bit of a loop here. And we can do a little bit of a 
the stall turn too. Oh yeah, love it. Yeah, it looks like it has the, the punch when you need it. It does, it does. Now I could have gone with a little bit more aggressive propeller than what I did. Touch and go. But this one just seemed really good. It just seemed really, really scale for me. Yeah, well actually, if you guys have been watching, when I did my Tiger Moth, um, I got a few tips from Lewis because he has a version of the Tiger Moth mm -hmm. as well that yeah. he put on 6S uh, with a lower pack. I went with the recommended stuff and we had to I manipulate CG, but he watched my video of that yeah. flight and seemed pretty comparable. Yeah. You know, like I didn't think for a Tiger Moth, I, I'm 6S just felt maybe too much, but yeah, you know, I would never use it. Mine has definitely got a lot more power than it needs. Yeah. So there's no doubt about that. But it does, uh, it flies really well. And I noticed on yours, it seemed like, it seemed just like mine. Yeah. I didn't... And this one looks like perfect. Now, did you I have to go. manipulate anything for the CG? So, all I needed to do with this is I did have to add some weight. Okay. Now, I, I don't know exactly how much weight I added to the nose because I just added some weight until I got the CG weight. <laughs> didn't measure, yeah. Yeah, I didn't I gotcha. measure anything. Uh, but I didn't modify the airframe or anything like that. Yeah. I put the battery as far forward as it could go. And so you did I no just... cutting of the balsa, because I had to cut nope. a little bit in the Tiger Moth to get yeah. what I wanted to do. Yeah, I didn't have to cut anything. Because some of these planes, you know, were, I mean, well, some of them might have been modeled, you know, pre or based on old electric systems. You know, mostly yeah. they're modeled for gas. So yeah. when you have a heavier gas motor up front with the fuel inside, much easier to hit your CG. Exactly. Than an electric frame with an ESC. And if I had gone with a heavier motor, then I probably wouldn't have had to add that much weight to the nose. So. Are you a touch and go fan? Yeah, yeah. We can do a can touch and go it? from right left. Touch and go right to left. I'm a little louder than you, Lewis, so everybody yeah. hears me out here. <laughs> Need to use my outside voice more. And again, no flap. She's nice and steady. And look at that. Nice. Yeah, it's got really good handling characters. Oh, what a baby. Golf clap from Patrick in the back. I think you might be able to see him. Well, I did something right at Patrick's clap. So. Loving that he doesn't have to be in camera right now. <laughs> Finally, somebody else. I found another victim. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is great. He's got a few. So you've got the, um, well, you have a tiger moth, but I do. you have from Nexa right now, you have this, and I know you have the twin I otter. I got the twin otter. That, that was beautiful. Yeah. So hopefully we get out one day with that. And what I think I might have to do, you, Lewis, is send you the float set. I think we got a float oh, set in, yeah. and maybe we head over to Lake Alatoona and try the Twin Otter on some floats. Yeah, that would be something. I love float flying. Landing, full stop. I remember seeing a big L4 at Donal, too, with floats on it. Big, like quarter scale. The guy had a quarter scale gasser, Piper Cub, well, L4, grasshopper with floats on it. That might have been 2014, Donal and uh, also looked awesome. <laughs> I may have seen that video as well. Yeah, it was all over back mm -hmm. then. Wow, she's got some nice, nice movements. And the beauty about this, again, guys, it's a type of, it's a beautiful balsa model. Mm -hmm. Probably pretty simple as long as you follow the instructions and how to, you know, put together. I'm assuming half the hinges were done on one of the surfaces, right? Yes. Like the Tiger Moth. And that's something I've seen with all of the Nexa models that I've put together. They all seem to do that. It's nice. It's, it is it's really just, nice. I yeah. don't like hinging in general, but it's better when one side's already done yeah. and then you just have yeah. to fit in the, the, the last bit. So yeah. I think the hinges are already on the surface itself and then you just got to put right. it into the wing or the, the elevator. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and land. All right, uh, we're going to take right to a land. landing. Because you uh, could be up for a while. But I think more than got the point across. What, what is the wingspan? Is it 14? It's 15, 60, 16? 63 inches, I think. 63, so that's about 1,600. Mm -hmm. That's like the Corsair, the Spitfire from Flight Line. Yeah. It's bigger than the Tiger Moth in span. Bit. Oh, wow, look at it just float down. Ooh. And you're taking the long way. <laughs> yeah. But nice. Beautiful flight, Lewis. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Thank you. I'm happy to see it. I love that, you know, we're starting to see more and more of these Nexa planes out there in the wild. And uh, definitely, this it seems like the Nexa series at this size, at these prices, you know, perfect for the people that have only thought about foam. But um, 
it's nice to have a balsa model or two in your hangar, man. And I tell you, the, uh, the Nexa models are a fantastic value. They really are. Um, I've been very happy with all of the ones that I have. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit there and say they fly better, but they look good. You I don't will. have to worry about the sun. You, you'll say that. Yeah, he could say that. He doesn't you know, work for, for us. I, um, I love the balsa models. I you do. Love it. I've got yeah. a bunch of them. And I've got uh, I have this L4 Grasshopper. I've got the um, a little P39. You got throttle cut on? I'm going to pick it up. I do. Keep talking. I do. I got a P39. Um, I've got the uh, Tiger Moth. And of course, I got the Twin Otter. So, nice. And they're all, they're all great. They're all great flyers. Love them all. Throttle cut is on, so you just de you didn't do any decals. I was already there. All the decals were included. I just had to put the mistress decal, the little fuel tank. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just, right. I just hit him in the and, face. Uh, but all the other, the tail numbers, everything I else like was pretty much on here. there. Yeah. That's a nice setup. The wheels, uh, the wings can be uh, removed, but yeah. it you fits in my truck screw without out. doing that. We can take that. it off here or here. That's right. You remove this screw, uh, and, and then, then there's a screw actually up here that holds the wing panels on. Okay. And you and you get, where do you get access to that? From mm -hmm. inside? No. No. Uh, I just put a little oh, cover okay, over it. Oh, okay, a little cover over it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that was just from the extra. They give you like an extra sticker to hide any mistakes. They always, uh, Nexa, they always give you that extra covering yep. for patch jobs. So I just yep. cut a couple little round pieces oh, out beautiful. and stuck them on there. So normally that would be right there. Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. And I love, we can open, do you just pull this door open? Yeah, so this yeah, actually right, opens right. up. Yeah. Look uh, at they, that. This just like scale. <laughs> For the and, access. Uh, Perfect for some, right. got to get some pilots in there. Yeah, I need to add a pilot. But, um, you know, your elevator rudder servo is back here. And then uh, I got my receiver on the side. I got a little Hobby Eagle gyro right there. A little there. closer to Alex. Yeah, check out So when you, when you build it, everything goes in through that, that panel. There's no access to the top. So you got yep. to reach in there to put all your stuff in. But it, everything fit really well. Nice battery. Mm -hmm. I do love the blue on the cow. This is a really, yeah. really, oh, this goes. <laughs> that goes first and yep. then that. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Under the wings, nice. Yeah, so what I did here, because the, uh, the recommended servos were these uh, HS82s, what I did is, um, this was just bare balsa here, so I just, I painted it white to try and blend it in a little bit better. Oh, okay. With the invasion stripes. Yeah. Uh, but they fit in there really well. Um, I'm really loving the wheels that they include with the next models. These are some really nice yeah, yeah, yeah. wheels. Nice, They're soft, a nice, soft, soft sponge. Bones, but yeah, mm -hmm. spongy. Yeah. Definitely yeah. nice. I mean, they'll get eaten up over time, but with a bird like this, you're not really. That's why I like the, gra the grass takeoffs yeah. and landings. You know, it helps they last a little longer that Protected. way. Protected, but overall, absolutely gorgeous model, guys. Lewis, once again, Thank shaking you. your hand. Thank you Thank so you. much for flying her for us. And guys, available now at motionrc.com, coming to motionrc.eu. And um, like, share, and subscribe, please. It always helps. We thank you so much to everybody who watches one of our videos. And we'll see you next time at Motion RC.